Hey guys, happy Thursday. We are, well, you recognize this place. Washington Square Park. It was really hot today. Finally, it's a little better. This place is vibing. You can see the Empire State Building through the gate and the One World Trade Center. All the way in the back. Now, we can actually go to Soho from here, which we, I haven't took you there for a while now, but unfortunately I have to go home before the baby is going to sleep. So we're gonna walk towards We're gonna walk towards Union Square. And I do not see any comments. None. I see you guys are watching, but I don't see the comments. Oh, now it's working. Hey, Patricia. How's everything? It's almost Friday. I, um,. I just came from a premiere. I wasn't in the premiere, I was outside. But um, it's a movie that they were filming last year in the city and I was actually, like I knew all their locations, but I don't remember ever going to actually cover this uh, movie. The name is not okay. What is this bus? Air Force One. Yeah, I have issues with receptions as always. Hi. Ah, oh, Italy. Hi, Laila Tov Israel. Hey, Bella. I don't know, but you know. It's New York City, you can, there's always like, oh, there's another fancy or street art bus parking there, I think. Let's see if it is, there is. The reception, the reception is, is not, not on my favor today. Oh, look how green it is. Okay, now it's working, I think. Hey, Frida! Yay, so happy you could join! Hey, Santos! Qatar! Sweet! Well, thank you for joining all the way from Qatar. It's, uh, it's, it's the evening time, so... Yeah, there are clouds. I think they're gonna be a nice sunset. Okay, what is this one? A mitzvah tank. A mitzvah is a word in Hebrew. Mitzvah today. Go oh, kosher food. There you have it. Tfilin, Shabbat, Matzot, Shabbat, Seudot Shabbat. A Jewish kosher bus. Uh, parking outside Washington Square Park. What is this Hershey? Um, okay, somebody, what's so going on? Hershey. Wait, I need to do something. The mitzvah tank, I think it's the first time I'm seeing it. You say it's always in the West Village. Maybe I never noticed that before, but yeah, definitely parking outside right now. 
Um, where were we? Oh, the premiere, not okay. That's the name of the movie. So, oh, ah, oh, is he gonna do it again? Let's see. He was jumping, yes, he's gonna do it again. He's like jumping over this obstacle and I'm here for it. Impressive. Okay. The muse. How charming is this place? Always on Hudson and Christopher Street. Well, thanks for the tip. I'll, I'll keep an eye. Do they have good food? So when it's really, oh, he had another obstacle. Did he? Oh, he's just jumping over nothing. Oh yeah, jumping over nothing. Um, oh yeah, when it's so hot in the city, you wanna stay away from the heat. So what you do is you go to places with AC from let's say 11 a.m. to um, 4 or 5 p.m. and then in the evening you can go outside and explore because in between it's just hell outside it's so hot and for AC areas you can yeah we have a lot of options here with places with a good AC that will keep you cool and then in the evening you can have your stroll watch all the landmarks and watch the sunset. And during summer, you know, the sun is setting late. So you have pretty much light up until um, about 8 p.m. So it gives you several hours of exploration in better conditions, you know? Yeah, the heat here is brutal and the subway going down for the subway waiting for the train if the train takes more than five minutes then you just better wait outside because it's so hot uh, underground so hot um oh kim you made it Yay, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for sending stars, house, everything in North Carolina. We are just um, doing an evening stroll. I hear a parrot. And it's uh, pretty loud. Maybe somebody, sometimes people are taking their parrots for a walk in Washington Square Park. So, but I think it's one from one of the windows coming, the noise. I'm not sure. Yeah, probably one of the windows. Do you hear that? I'll be very surprised if it's up on one of the trees here. Oh, that's very loud. Where is he? Oh, there are two. There are two. Give me a moment. Oh. One flew away. They are on the tree. What is it? That's not a blue jay, right? One flew away. Wait. Sorry, I'm so curious to see what it is. Is that a blue jay? Oh, it might be a blue jay. Oh, yes, that's a blue jay. That's a blue jay, probably young, calling their parents. Um, yeah, I don't remember them making this sound. Ha, ah, hey Jack, thank you for sending stars. We had a perfect view on the Empire from Washington Square Park. I hope you ca uh, caught on on that. 
Kim, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for your support. That's so sweet of you. I was, um, as I was saying earlier, I was out covering a premiere and, um, and since it was like really nice out, I'm like, let's go for a short evening stroll in between my two subway stations or maybe three subway stations because I was in Soho. It was very pretty, but I really wanted to get to Washington Square Park first. So we started at Washington Square Park. I really do need you to take you guys for a stroll in Soho. It's so nice there. Um, so basically, this is like one of my favorite walks. Walking from Washington Square Park to look at the sunset to Union Square. Um, And then you have two big station, subway stations in between. You have the West Ford next to Washington Square Park, and you have the Union Square in Union Square. So a lot of options for trains in this area. Hey, Alice, thank you so much for sending stars. That's really nice of you. No, I'm, I'm not in Washington. I was in Washington Square Park, which is in New York City, and it's a completely different location than Washington DC or Washington. Um, yeah, this is, this is New York City. You can see the Freedom Tower, and I was pointing out the Empire State Building earlier. Uh, we might have a good view on it from here as well soon give me a few few more blocks few more blocks we are on 12th street and union square started at 14. anita thank you for the stars you guys are super sweet thank you for all your support <laughs> it's really charming and all the restaurants have this like outdoor seating right now um, because of the pandemic because during the pandemic the city gave them the opportunity to have this outdoor seating outside taking a part of the road and now everybody has it and some restaurants made it so charming so it's really nice to see um, and you know they decorated with flowers and lights and it's just like on an evening like this, when it's nice, then you sit outside, you enjoy the weather, and you enjoy, you know, sitting outside in a restaurant. Teresa, hi, thank you for sending stars. I'm so happy you guys in, are enjoying these live walks. I, I always have a conflict because potentially, or theoretically, or not even theoretically, like I could have done a live video from the premiere and then you guys could watch the people coming in um, the theater, the celebrities. But um, I decided to make a separation and I'm leaving the celebrity content for <laughs> the, the TikTok and Instagram and I do this just part of life walks on Facebook. Um, and it's not obvious which one is better because I know a lot of you guys said you're not interested in celebrities. But when I look at my numbers, if I would have done a live video from the premiere, I would have, I for sure, I would have gotten more views than just video of me walking in the street, for sure. But it wouldn't have the same value to the people in Facebook I care about. So I'm doing the walk. We're gonna wait for the light. 
You have a nice view on sunset. Brazil, Thailand. Thank you everybody from, for joining from all over the world. Tennessee is here. Brazil, I see you. Brazil is in the house. Oh, I have a green light. I'm daydreaming. Yes, so everybody gets a, li a little bit of a different perspective of NYC. And what's interesting that if you combine them all together, then you um, get a nice sense of a day of or maybe my day in New York City, <laughs> which is basically the part that I also enjoy the most is walking the New York City streets. And then the part that I do not, uh, I don't want to say I don't enjoy it, but it's like more stressful. The stressful part of, you know, the celebrities and this very plastic world, which I'm not, I do not feel a strong connection to, but um, my community find it valuable. And as I said before, because everybody now is a blogger and everybody's sharing New York City, I, I, you know, I was pushing myself to do something that nobody else in the city is doing. And the celebrities and the filming set and the premieres are something that is very hard to do. So people cannot just copy this. They cannot just copy and just do the same because it's not something that is like available and is out there and it's challenging it's challenging to do it so having a little bit of everything in this city and sometimes it's too much ah. <laughs> and you guys are the best for <laughs> supporting me no matter what I share with you I keep changing this page from one thing to another and you guys are flowing with it and i love it manuel thank you so much for sending stars sending best wishes from new york ireland i see you cancun mexico hi peggy oh i hear you <laughs> i hear you but the kids they really like it they really like it um and um, the celebrity world is something I knew nothing about like two years ago. You guys, like you can watch my walks from the past and people would have asked me, oh, you live in the city for this many years. What celebrities have you seen? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't recognize them. I'm very bad at it, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I saw, I had a, coincidence of seeing uh, Jimmy Fox one evening and I did a live video it, it was in a, like a store and that was my story and I didn't know like I didn't know the names I didn't know who's here I didn't know what they're filming I couldn't care less and now ask me ask me what celebrities I saw in the city ask me I've seen everybody everybody <laughs> all of them like uh, yeah, from Tom Holland, Julia Roberts, Jerry Seinfeld, Ed Sheeran, yeah, like, seriously, Mad Boomer, Bradley Cooper, Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds. I didn't even kn knew these names, know these names, like, two years ago. These names would mean nothing maybe julia roberts i i knew but the others like bradley cooper ryan reynolds i know they're big black lively i i didn't know who they were and now not only i know them i saw them multiple times Gigi hadid um 
trying to think of like Billie Eilish, J Lo, <laughs> guys, really, like you name a celebrity, and I promise I have a video of that celebrity somewhere in New York City. Robert De Niro, Leonardo DiCaprio, really. So it's insane. It's like two years different from nothing, not knowing anyone to just basically cover every celebrity that comes to the city. You have to, you know, it's, it's a big transformation. Anyway, just sharing. Ah, you guys are asking about Robert De Niro, yes. He was in a premiere in, um, for a Tribeca Film Festival. Lady Gaga, for Lady Gaga, I did a live video with you guys. We were waiting outside the studio for her to come out. And I'm like, should I keep the live video going? Should I stop it? Should I keep, should I stop? And eventually I kept the live video and she came out and there was a scene where somebody gave her flowers and she threw it back to the crowd. And this video I was able to keep on my phone as HD, which is not always an option. And like I used this clip, this short video clip of her coming and throwing the flowers. I used it on TikTok, I used it on Instagram. And this like 20 second video clip has like million of views, million million of views because she has like this crazy outfit and you know it's not something you see every day so lady gaga i actually did live video with you guys um sarah jessica parker i've done live video of, with her on set before i knew how people are like outraged about it and then i stopped but yeah sarah jessica parker i don't know if you remember but on my live videos you can get the complete transformation of me creating New York City content. So from like new murals, remember we did the, um, the Cobra murals in NYC every day, I would show you like a different mural is done or like pop-ups or things like that, which is now everybody's doing that, everybody. It makes me go like, I'm, I'm, I'm going, like I cannot see this anymore because everybody's doing that. So yeah, that's the story. But you guys been through and through this from the very start. Well, those of you who were here. Nina, thank you for sending stars. Uh, <laughs> I was actually, uh, Gloria says she saw Donald Trump. I actually avoided, they came here, the Trump family came here for the funeral. And um, yeah, I actually avoided that. I'm like, but <laughs> waited forever. So it felt like forever for Lady Gaga, but you know, it was, it was only like, if I, I have the video clip, I know how long it was. It's eight minutes. It wasn't that long. I don't think I cut it down, but currently the video I have from that live video says eight minutes. I need to go to the original on Facebook might be 20 but yeah it says eight i need to check on this but yeah it felt like forever i'm like oh my god this is not gonna <laughs> what's gonna happen but she came out and it was like when she came out it was so good and like everybody's so excited so it makes the wait worth it you know because all the excitement anyway i have to go because before um mika is going to sleep and i told him I'm coming back and then I took my time doing the live video and now I feel guilty. I always feel guilty. If I would have gone, I would feel guilty that I didn't do a live video today. So no matter what, I feel guilty. But, um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short walk from Washington Square Park to Union Square. I'm going to catch my train now. Wishing you all a lovely night. Sending best wishes from New York. I'm going to see you soon. Bye, guys.